Uh, this is a Lambretta electronic flywheel. Um, it's off my LI150 and I can't seem to get this electronic ignition working. I can't get a spark on it at all. CDI seems to be fine. Um, the low tension coil is fine. I've tested that and that's okay. Uh, I've replaced everything else now except this flywheel. And the only thing that I haven't checked is the distance between the fingers on the magnets here, the crossover magnets, and the pickup. So I don't know what the distance is of the pickup off of the magnets. That's pretty critical. So what I've decided to do, I've lined it up vertically. I know that's accurate. Um, that's okay. It's just the distance from the uh, magnets themselves. It, the distance needs to be between one thousandth of an inch and three thousandths of an inch. The ideal solution is probably going to be to put an external pickup on. I'm sure that's what I'm going to end up doing. But in the meantime, just as an experiment, this is what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to space the two magnets that have the fingers on, as you can see there. I'm going to space these out a bit from the actual flywheel by loosening off the screws there that you can see that hold the magnets in. I've loosened those off and I'm going to pad them underneath. The thickness of the card is around about the thickness you should have between the pickup and the magnets, but I can't even get that in there to test it. So I'm going to put this behind the magnets. It's about three thou, three thousandths of an inch, and see if I can just lift those magnets a bit closer to the pickup. See if that makes any difference, see if I get a spark then. So that's what I'm going to try and do. So I've already loosened these off. Um, they are stuck and the magnet holds them in as well. So you do need to give them a little smack of a hammer on the screw to loosen them. But as you can see, that's now loose. Oh, the magnet's quite strong. There we go. See that's lifting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some pieces of card to put underneath the magnet there. To space it off and we can't see in the camera. Underneath there and there to just space them off slightly. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. Let's go and do that. Right, so I'm just loosening off this magnet here. I've undone the screw. That's the screw out and now the magnet's loose and it is one of the ones with the finger. And I'll just do one at a time so that I can't get these two mixed up. Obviously they're north and south polarity and you don't want to mix up that. So just got to get the magnet, the magnet out now. There we go. That's the magnet out. Now what I'll do is I'll cut a bit of card to just sit behind there. sticking out either side I think it'll make it easier to position it. All I've got to do is find a make a hole with it in the middle. Right. Got him first. There you can see the card placed underneath the magnet. And now that magnet needs to be lined up very carefully so that it's level and straight. And so to maintain the gap there. So I'll tighten that up now and then position it. sure that there's a gap there. So it still needs to be a little bit tighter.
Let's do the other one now. Position that. Right, that looks about right. Hopefully, bring the pickup closer to the magnets. The proof is in the pudding, so I've got a bit of white paint on there. We'll put this back on and we'll see what sort of clearance we've got there and whether or not we get a spark. So must be short of fuel there, not enough fuel. So a lean mixture. Whew. Some of your runs anyway, at last it runs. Oh well. <laughs> 